So, you want to know all about the swamp in Valheim and what there is to do and get there? Well, oh boy, have you clicked on the wrong video. I, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, don't click off. But soon enough, you'll know the ins and outs of this ugly swamp biome and be on your way to the Iron Age. Currently, as of this video coming out, there is 8 enemies you will find here, with only 3 enemies I would personally worry about here. Blobs, oozers, and leeches. So, Wonduck, I hear you ask, why are these three so much scarier than the others? And the answer to that is probably their ability to absolutely ruin you over, no matter what armor you are wearing or how much you block. But and it's a big but, if you were to drink a poison resistance potion by jamming in the poison mead into a fermenter, it would be like taking candy from a baby, which I don't know why you would want to do that, and that does in fact raise a few ethical issues, and honestly I would question you as a per- Now, if you want to turn it from baby candy stealing to just breathing levels of easy, then I would bring in a special weapon called the Stag Breaker or what I like to call the Pest Exterminator. Crafted with 20 core wood, 5 deer trophies and 2 leather scraps. You can deal large AoE attacks to kill these suckers before they even get close. And this tip lends itself extremely well for clearing crypts, because it can hit through walls and leeches will scare you and other gross long black things in the water as well which can be taken on from afar with this weapon. Now, crypts are the stone structures with gates on that you wouldn't have been able to get in unless you had a key from the elder or, or, okay, never mind. Well, these are particularly scary part of the ugly biome called the swamp because it's so cramped and in these, you'll have to stay at range to every creature you find if you don't have a strong shield because there is literally zero room to dodge and it's an actual nightmare if you have claustrophobia. Okay, so how do we get the iron to flex on our friends and argue who used it to place 20 personal chests? Well, it's simple. You see these big, ugly brown blobs blocking your way that you just want to destroy? Well, you should, because these are called muddy scrap piles, and you should just smash them with a pickaxe for a 16% chance to drop some scrap iron, 4% for leather scraps, 4% again for withered bones, which you should keep 10 of for a reason I will explain in a bit. You can also get a serious ton of scrap iron by just looking in the chests as you clear the crypt and go through. Now, like all metals in the game, you can't teleport with scrap iron, so you'll have to travel by bo- Oh, oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, yeah, just do that. Then once you smelt these puppies, you will be able to be in the Iron Age. Isn't that cool and worth all your time and suffering with the amount of hours you spent getting it? Okay, but like I was saying earlier about the withered bones, 10 of these bad boys will let you spawn in the third boss and the most ugly one called Bone Mass. When you throw them into Bone Mass's spawning altar, you will spawn him, which personally I would flatten the area around with a hoe to make it easier to traverse. And you will find one of his altars if you've been pressing E on the red runic stones laying around in the sunken crypt. But this boss is pretty simple in terms of just spawning ads, swinging his arms, and puking out poison clouds, so with a comfy supply of poison potions, I'm sure you'll be just fine. Alright, let's sum this up and add a bit more to it. Make poison resistance, make poison resistance, and my final tip is making poison resistance. No, seriously, all the attacks of Draugas are relatively linear and you can just bait them out as if they were a small troll. Parries are always helpful against the archers because they aren't the most fun mob to fight. And wraiths which you'll find at night in terms of attack pattern are pretty equal in their style of fighting. In terms of how to get the most amount of iron as possible, I would invest your first batch into an iron pickaxe to speed up the job. Not only will it last longer, it'll also mine faster and has a quality upgrade compared to what you would be using before. I would also buy a Meijing Jord, Mei Meijing Jing, Jord, Meijing Jord belt from the merchant, which you'll find in the Black Forest biome, which will increase your weight limit by 150. And health potions and food are nice to have, so you don't go through eternal punishment and purgatory. That is the swamp biome where you will just die and die over again. But that is my 
ultimate super god gamer guide to traversing and exploring the swamp and this video was me experimenting with some slightly different styles of content and I don't know how long this will be because I'm only just recording the voiceover right here so make sure to let me know in the comments if you liked it but I hope this video has made your day just a little bit brighter go out there get some iron and do me proud this has been one duck goodbye